So this is the charge controller. It's a 440 amp charge controller. So it's pretty, it's pretty beefy. This thing can handle a ton. 440 amps uh, per hour. So obviously it's going to be more than most people will ever need in a residential um, setting. So anyway, here's how it's connected. Again, your positive and your negative. These are really sensing wires. I've used ridiculously larger wires than I need. It's just all I had. So you don't need, um, I don't even know how many gauge I got on there, but it's way more than you need. You probably need 25 gauge is all you need for this. But I've got a, I've got a, um, I've got a pretty uh, low gauge wire here. But again, your positive and your negative goes from, from this little microprocessor to your battery, your positive and negative on your battery. It senses it. Okay, we'll start with the sun. Okay, your, here's your solar, your positive, here's your positive from the sun, from your panels, ultimately. It goes through this um, normally open contact. So the, the current goes through here. Since this is normally open contact, it continues through here. And this goes to your positive of your battery and charges your battery. Okay, now if the... The voltage gets too high and this senses the voltage is now at 14.4 volts. This normally open contact will close and therefore stop the power, the current, from coming in and charging your batteries. That's, this is the, the, the solar hookup. Um, now on the wind, um, <clears throat> the turbine hookup, you, if you did the same thing here, you hooked it up to the same leads, it'll continue to charge your battery, and when the voltage gets too high, this contact will close, and it won't continue to boil and charge your, overcharge your battery. That'll all work the same. But what will also happen is, when this contact closes, your, your turbine will now be spinning without any load, meaning it will be free spinning, out of control, you'll damage your PMA, and therefore, um, you're going to... Uh, you're going to damage a turbine. So you don't want to hook this up that way. You want to hook that, the turbine up slightly different using the disconnect method, they call it in the book. So with the turbine, here's your positive. You're going to take, this is just connected to your battery. You're going to, this positive lead is connected to this, ter, this relay terminal. Now when the voltage hits the magic 14.4, and you can, by the way, there's a switch here and you can change that uh, to set it wherever you want but 14.4 is factory default when it hits that what happens is the the wind turbine continues to spin under load we don't kill the load it continues to spin it but what we do with that power that excess power is it, it goes through this relay to this terminal and then out and into the, the diversion mode and it just burns up that excess energy so it allows your turbine it, it accomplishes the same purpose in that it stops the batteries from being charged but it allows your turbine to continue to work under a load so it's not free spinning so that's how that's hooked up um, okay I'm gonna get into some more um, wiring, uh, beginner wiring stuff here in my next couple of videos. Again, I'm not an electrician. I just started messing with this stuff about six months ago, and I've got just a, you know, a pretty basic little system here that, um, you know, does everything I want it to do. Um, and I'll, I'll get into more detail, but I just want everyone to know, um, you know, do the stuff at your own risk. I'm just a beginner. I'm just figuring this out. I have no background in electrical engineering or anything else. Um, I'm not even a handyman type of person. Um, I really just learning stuff. I'm pretty good at figuring stuff out, but that's about it. <laughs> so anyway, just word of caution. Um, and I'll get into some more of the wiring stuff uh, in a moment.